Romania's political system is still in deadlock as protesters call for the government to resign. It comes after the country's justice minister stepped down after he abandoned a decree which would have seen the release of people found guilty of corruption. Uh, Sophia Tran Thompson has this. Triumphant over the resignation of Romania's justice minister. But these demonstrators aren't taking to the streets entirely in celebration. For almost a fortnight, hundreds of thousands of Romanians have been protesting across the country, fighting against a decree that would have effectively shielded government authorities of corruption if the amount of money involved was less than $47,000. It could have seen dozens of officials released from prison and hundreds avoid trial. The protesters were heard, and last Sunday the government rescinded the decree. But many are still not satisfied. They are liars, all liars, politicians that are lying to us every single day. We will continue until, until they will resign. It's absolutely mind-boggling. I, 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 I don't know what to make of it. It's like a different uh, dimension, a different re reality. But I'm here, I will be here tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, and we can only hope. Although the government does have some support, the party advocates shouted for Romania to wake up on Friday and accused the anti-corruption protesters of being paid for by the president who denounced the bill. With protests both for and against the government continuing, the country remains firmly divided. The foreign minister says the European Union will be consulted and a large-scale public debate will be held. It's not the end. I mean, they're just, yeah, they're doing some stuff to distract us, but uh, it's, yeah, the fight is not over. We need some more, we need better results. <laughs> Until a resolution's found, it seems Romanians won't let this issue be forgotten and the protests will continue. Sophia Tran-Thompson, BBC News.